Hater. Hey Welcome to the Chronicles, Paw Paw Chronicles with Jim Davis. Uh, today, what I'm doing is I'm transplanting uh, some Paw Paws, and I'm using a new potting system that I've yet to use. Uh, these right here are called root trappers, and uh, made in America at least, uh, out of Huntsville, Alabama. Root maker products. But anyways, <clears throat> I wanted to give these a try because I, I like seeing root mass on seedlings that I'm going to plant later on down the road. Now, uh, I guess the concept behind it is that you see the material in there. It's like a felt. Roots will grow into that material and stop and it won't grow no more. And it blunts the tip of that root and goes back up that root and causes uh, fiber roots to come out. And those will grow out and they'll do the same thing. And it's like a continuing uh, scenario. And what happens is that root gets bound up in there. You know, years ago, uh, I had bought some crab apple trees. They were in a system pretty much like this. And whenever it came time for me to plant those crab apples, uh, I couldn't get them off the bags. I ended up actually cutting the bag off. And, but when I cut that bag off and peeled it off there, man, the root fibers in that tree, uh, they, they were really, really good root fibers in that tree. And I thought, man, that's pretty slick. Too bad you can't reuse them because, well, I've ordered these and they're a little bit on the expensive side. But I did a water test uh, with one of these. Uh, I was upstairs and got to the kitchen sink and I filled it up with water to see what would happen. And water seeped out the side of the bag. Uh, kind of puts you in mind of a, a cold can of pop sweating is what it kind of puts you in mind of. Uh, but the water just leached out through the bag. So that tells me in itself, I wonder. Yeah, I can see through there. I can see the light through that. So it's got airflow. But that being said, let's go ahead and get one pot set up real quick. I already got one crate down there set up. And I want to try and get this done because I got other things that I want to do. Uh, anyways, uh, as you all know, follow me, I've been growing pawpaws for quite some time now. But pawpaws aren't the only trees that I grow. And last year, as you all may know, I had decided <clears throat> to try a different style pot, these right here, and see if I couldn't get pawpaws to grow good in them. However, some, something that I've seen in these pots that I wasn't really, really crazy about is water. It retains water right in here. There's a big hole in the bottom of the pot, and there's holes on the side. You would think the water would continue to drain. and it, it drains through, but it holds moisture oh, probably from here down. Moisture is held in there, and what ends up happening is, is you know, although the pawpaw likes damp soil, they like good drainage and I'm going to show you here in a minute when I pull this out what I seen going on inside these pots and I'm not too crazy about what I'm seeing but anyways that being said let's right there all the dirt didn't come out and like I said the tree is still alive, but you can see right here that root rotted down in the bottom there, but the tree is still alive. It's green. The bud on it is green. It's trying to wake up. Let's try to get these to live. I mean, I'm not real, like I said, I'm not real crazy about what I'm seeing out of them little pots. And, uh, I'm going to continue on here, but 
Now, uh, so far, with me growing the pawpaws, uh, the pots that I used in the past and I still use today are root makers. And which, by the way, the root maker pots come from the same company as these right here came from. I like those root maker pots. They really, really do a good job as far as uh, pawpaws are concerned. Uh, just about any tree that I grew in those root makers did well. These right here are supposed to be a pretty good system for uh, growing trees into also, but we're going to find out how they do later on down the road. Now these are going to end up being uh, remaining in those pots uh, probably a couple years and when they get big enough, I'll graft them while they're in those pots. Now later on down the road, I may decide to take them out of those pots and put them in a root maker pot. Let me show you one right here. <clears throat> and I'll probably put some into, and once I start getting root mass, there's a three gallon pot right there. And that is a root maker pot. And it's got little lids in there. And they're, these are a really good pot. But I've been using one gallon ones. This one here is a three gallon. Uh, but once those take off, uh, I give them, like I said, a couple of years. I'm going to transplant some of them in these pots right here because I have a suspicion once they do take off in there and I get a lot of root mass going on, when I transplant that into one of them pots, that root mass is going to really take off inside of one of them pots and then we'll see what happens. And, you know, some trees, uh, when I graft, I like to graft uh, more than one piece of scion. You know, it'd be nice to grow one up about yay high with some branching on it and then I can top work that and convert the entire tree over. That's just something that I enjoy doing. And we're going to do one more here real quick because I'm about out of dirt. Let's see, find one here. It's got some green going on with it. Yeah, I'm almost afraid that I'm going to lose some of these little pawpaws in these this potting system here that I'm taking out of. And there's one right there. It's got some relief bud coming out. I'm like, I'm not crazy about these. Uh, it was first time using them. Wanted to see how they go. And no, I'm not thrilled with what I'm seeing. And that there's got a little bit more root. And I'm treating them like uh, bare root to transplant them in these. And there's a little bit of white stuff right there. Now that right there is rooting hormone. I put rooting hormone on these when I planted them in there. So we're going to go ahead and top this bag off. Now the soil I'm using is just a regular uh, seed mix. It's called uh, uh, Pro Mix or Mix Pro, uh, Pro Mix. It don't have a whole lot of stuff in it uh, as far as nutrients and everything, but it's got probably got some enzymes in there to help out a little bit. And set that off to the side. These little trays I made will hold eight of them real good. But anyways, just something I wanted to share with you. I got to mix up some more dirt. That pro mix is dry and I got to mix it, make it wet. But hey, my name's Jim. If you like what you see, subscribe. Any comments or questions that you may have, I welcome. Y'all have a God bless day.